Number 5. It's a sunny day in Peñalver, Spain. There appears to be a Running with the Bulls event happening. And as it continues to charge, it turns on a dime. what they say, mess with the bull and you get the horns. Number 4 This video is believed to be taken at a safari park in Africa. A massive rhino blocks this car's path. It appears the rhino is going to let the car pass. But it turns out that is not the case. The rhino pops its ears forward and appears to charge the vehicle but stops. It then circles the car. This rhino can weigh up to 3,000 pounds and can flip this car with ease. And when it appears the driver can finally get away, this happens. Luckily, the driver was alright. Number 3. Taken in Hearst, Ontario, Canada, this man is hunting with a bow and arrow. Though for what this man was about to encounter, a bow and arrow is not going to protect him. He spots the figure of a massive black bear in the distance. The man tries to stay still and stay off the main trail. But it doesn't matter, the bear is approaching him. It's a tense standoff between him and the bear. And the man is not sure what is going to happen next. He readies his bow and arrow. But it's too late as the bear charges at him. Me? Miraculously, he is okay from the incident. Shot a long time ago. <laughs> Scare me, that guy. Let's watch that again. <laughs> the bear literally tackles him to the ground. Me? <laughs> Should have shot him a long time ago. <laughs> Scare me, that guy. This man walked away with his life, which in the end is what matters most. Number two. I'm surrounded by gorillas. One, two, three, four, five, and a silverback. This man is filming gorillas in Africa. He must have some sort of training dealing with the animals, as literally trees and branches are his only form of protection. He is extremely close to this family of gorillas, probably too close for his own good. And in the distance, a massive silverback gorilla can be seen. Silverback gorillas are extremely protective of their families. And when an unknown individual gets close, it's a recipe for disaster. The man continues to film, clearly just looking to document this family of gorillas.
Finally, the silverback has had enough. I look cool. I'm gonna pass it. It's okay. It's okay. Cool. I look cool. I look cool. And the Romingi. Modu Tala do tea. And the Romingi. The massive silverback charges at this man, but he maintains his composure, which likely saved his life. If you know what language he's speaking here, please translate in the comments. Here it is again in slow motion. It's okay. It's okay. Cool. Oh, cool. The gorilla could have ripped this man in half if it wasn't for these branches. Modu tala do tea. And the mangi. Well, they tea and be a tumble eel. But the cameraman's non-aggressive response likely played a part in saving his life as well. The cameraman was shaken but unharmed that day. But what his exit plan is from here, I'm not exactly sure. Number one. It's a snowy day on the Curl Islands. And this snowmobiler and his friends have a fishing camp set up nearby. It's nothing but barren snowy tundra as far as the eye can see. The snowmobilers speed forward. They thought they saw a bear nearby and are going to check the surrounding area. And then the figure of something big can be seen in the distance. The snowmobiler passes the massive grizzly bear, but surprisingly circles back around. It appears as though they're trying to chase the bear out of the area. Both snowmobilers get very close to the bear. It appears their plan to chase it away is working. Until... Let's watch that again. It happens so quickly. The bear turns around, rearing its full size at the snowmobile. It appears as though the bear stands up and is about to swat the snowmobiler with its claw, but luckily the snowmobiler slips right underneath the bear's arm. But that's not the end of this encounter. They circle back again, and once again chase the animal that almost ended this man's life. The other snowmobiler appears to take the lead at this moment, getting very close to the bear. But finally, it seems the plan has worked. The bear is no longer on the offensive and appears to take off, running up the cliff seen in front of them. The bear continues to flee until it's barely noticeable in the distance. The snowmobilers turn around and return back to camp, securing the location so they can get back to fishing. This has been Documented Reality. Thank you to these individuals for allowing me to share their story. 
watch the last episode here 